good morning students in the previous lectures we had discussed about the phylum arthropoda its characteristic features its classification its economic importance and today we will discuss about the larval forms of crustacean myself balram sain assistant professor in zoology government dungar college bikane larval forms of crustacean the body of crustaceans is covered with a chitinous exoskeleton for protection but this exoskeleton does not allow body growth and hence must be shed there are several larval stages in the development of most crustaceans nauplius metanauplius protozoa zoa myces megalopa phylosoma cypris elema These larval stages feed and grow and then go molting and ecdysis. After each molt, they change their structure and size and hence are different from the previous stage. However, diverse the form of the adult may be, there always occurs a larva with certain constant characters. Now we will discuss these larva one by one. first is the nauplius nauplius larva was discovered by moller in the 18th century it is the first fundamental stage in all crustaceans this is the nauplius larva of cyclops the body is oval shaped as shown in the figure unsegmented with the large cephalothorax region and rudimentary abdomen it has a single median front eye as shown in picture and three pairs of unjointed appendages first second and third the uniremus antennule serves as the balancing organ the biremus antennae and the mandibles which are also biremus are used for swimming purpose nauplius has a well developed digestive system and feeds on plankton in brachiopoda and copepoda the young ones hatch out as nauplius larva but in palemon the nauplius stage passes inside the eggs In most crustaceans the nauplius gives rise to several intermediate forms before becoming adult Next is the metanauplius In some brachiopods such as apus after successive molts the nauplius transforms into metanauplius which is slightly bigger in size This is the metanauplius larva of apus it is oval in shape with a cephalothorax region and abdomen region The abdomen region ends into truncated two truncated process or caudal form. These are the caudal form as shown in the figure. It also has a single median eye. Antennule is uniremus and sensory. Antenna are large. and biremus and locomotor in function and mandibles are reduced these are the mandibles these are reduced and used for chewing the food in this stage rudiments of two pairs of maxillae and maxillary pits are formed in some free swimming forms metanauplius is the first stage in the life history
नेक्स्ट इज द प्रोटोजोइया प्रोटोजोइया इज द थर्ड लार्वल स्टेज एंड इन द केस ऑफ मराइन प्रोवांस एंड लॉबस्टर्स द लार्वा दैट हैचेस आउट इज इन प्रोटोजोइया स्टेज इट हैज अ लार्ज सिफेलोथोरैक्स रीजन लार्ज सिफेलोथोरैक्स रीजन कवर्ड विद अ कैरापेस एंड एन इलोंगेटेड अनसेगमेंटेड एब्डोमेन दिस इज अ एब्डोमेन रीजन विद अ कॉर्डल फॉक एंड अ पेयर ऑफ स्मॉल यूरोपोर्ट्स एंटीन्यूल इज यूनिरेमस and segmented while the antenna are biremus mandibles are small these are the mandibles these are small and masticatory in function that means that helps in the chewing of the food there are two pairs of maxillipedes which help in collecting the food three pairs of thoracic limbs appear as buds and there is a single median eye this is a single median eye so thoracic limbs appear in the form of buds next is the zoia larva the protozoa transforms into zoia larva it is a common larva of decapods Hence, it has variations in features in different species. This is the zoia larva. As shown in figure, it has a large cephalothorax region that is covered with a helmet-like carapace that is produced into a rostrum. This is the rostrum in front and bears the median dorsal spine. And this is the median dorsal spine. one pair of large stalk movable compound eyes is present the antennules and antenna are short and unsegmented these are the antennule and antenna they are short and unsegmented and they are sensory in function the mandible is in the form of a masticatory blade that helps in the chewing the food particles into smaller ones both both the pairs of maxillipedes are large and this is the first maxillipede and second maxillipede is a large and biremus and used for swimming the thoracic appendages these are thoracic appendages in the form still in the form of bud and non functional abdomen is six segmented these are the abdominal segments these are six in number without appendages and has a caudal furca this is the caudal furca on the tip along with the calcium next larval stage is the mysis in shrimps and lobsters zoia transforms into mysis so called because it resembles an adult mysis in general features this is the picture of the mysis it has an elongated and cylindrical body as shown in the picture it has an cephalothorax region and six segmented abdomen abdomen is divided into six segments there are six pairs of biremus thoracic appendages for locomotion these are the thoracic appendages for locomotion The abdomen is similar to that of a adult and has five pairs of pleopods. These are the pleopods, five in number, and a pair of uropods. This is the uropod, which helps in swimming. A pointed telson. This is the pointed telson, which is present on the tip of the abdomen. and the mysis larva is the final stage in the development of some prawns but in some lobsters this is the first stage as earlier stages are passed in the egg 
Next is the Megalopa. In crab, the Joya larva molds into the Megalopa larva. It has a well developed cephalothorax and six segmented abdomen. As shown in pictures, Megalopa larva, the eyes are large and strong. The thorax region is divided and has five pairs of walking legs. The abdomen has six pairs of pleopods placed in a straight line. This is the abdomen. These are the pleopods and which help in swimming. The larva swims on the surface water but later on sinks to the bottom and molds into the adult. Next is the phylosoma. In the rock lobster, Panulurus, the newly hatched larva is strangely modified mysis from called phylosoma or glass crab. This is a picture of phylosoma larva of Palinurus. And the Palinurus form body is large, flattened, and leaf like, delicate, and glassy. That's why the name is derived glass crab and divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. The eyes are compound and stopped. The thorax is glassy with one pair of large biremus maxillipedes and three pairs of thoracic legs. The abdomen is segmented and here is the abdomen. This is limbless region and segmented. It undergoes a number of molds before reaching the adult stage. Next larval stage is cypress. In Cirripedia, that is Lepas and Seculina, an opleus larva after several molds changes into cypress stage. The body is enclosed in a bivalve cell provided with the adductor muscle similar to that found in the adult cypress. The antinule is four segmented. This is the antinule and it is four segmented. And bears a cement gland at the base. This is the cement gland. This is the cement gland at the base. It possesses a pair of compound eyes. This is the compound eye. In addition to the median eye. The thorax bears six pairs of biremus thoracic appendages. Abdomen is four to five segmented. This abdomen region is four to five segmented and ends in a caudal form. The larval stage lasts from four days to ten or twelve weeks in different species. It then settles down on the bottom, attaches by its antennas, aided by the cement glands and metamorphosed into adult. This alima, this larva stage occurs in the development of scula, a melacostracan, and this it resembles Louis in many details. This is the picture of Elena. The body is slender and glassy. The carapace is short and broad with all cephalic appendages, but only first two thoracic ones. This is the carapace. The abdomen is elongated. Abdomen region is elongated with six segments and four pairs of abdominal limbs. First, second, third, and fourth. And a broad telson at the posterior part. It differs from Joya in having well developed second maxillipedes and armature of the telson.
Thanks for paying attention and in the upcoming lectures we will discuss more about the phylum Arthropoda.